Hello Underachievers, that is probably the sixth time I've said that today. I recorded the half of this video without the microphone on. But now the microphone's on. Hello Underachievers! So you've read the title, you know what this video is about. A paedophile got me tattooed on themselves. Now there's two reasons why I didn't film this video already. The first one is that I didn't actually have the picture of that I didn't actually have the picture of that tat- The first one is that I didn't actually have a picture of that tat- how do I keep screwing that up? The first reason is that I didn't actually have a picture of the tattoo that I'm talking about in the video and I would feel weird about making this video because I knew that people would be like, oh wait, you're lying, where's the tattoo? This didn't actually happen. It happened. The second reason I haven't made this video already is because I kind of felt bad about making this video. I'm not a kind of person that does like expose uh, videos. I don't really enjoy making others miserable. <laughs> I am gonna name this person in the video. I'm not gonna tell you their second name. I'm not gonna give you a link so that you can go and stalk them. I'm not gonna show pictures of their face um, or their username. I'm just gonna tell the story how it happened. So this is a story time. I'm just gonna get straight into the story. How did this happen? Why did this happen? I, who knows? So context, I was 15 at this time. I was under the age of consent. I also looked younger than 15. So if anybody over the age of 16, 18 was attracted to me, it's kind of weird. At this point in my life, I had this thing called a spam account on Instagram where I would just post videos of myself doing dumb stuff, post pictures of myself doing dumb stuff, post pictures of myself in the bath, pretty much just embarrass myself. I enjoyed it. It was a good time. Um, I had a following back then. It wasn't that many people, but I had a following. So yeah, I was a child. I was putting content out on the internet. And of course, putting myself out there meant that there would be people out there that may be, may be, may be a danger to me or maybe a bit creepy. And there were, this is not the only time something like this has happened, but this is the story I'm telling today. So I'm not gonna lie and tell you how we started talking. I genuinely would go through our conversations, but I can't because this happened on my old Instagram account. My old Instagram account was called Sugar Daddy Donald. It was a joke about Donald Trump. This was before he was president. I am not a supporter, but this happened on my old Instagram account that got deleted for no reason. The injustice. But if I had the messages, I would 100% show you. I'm not embarrassed. I was, I knew I was annoying back then, but I was not luring in a pedophile. This guy just started talking to me. So yeah, I don't exactly remember what happened to make us start talking, but he would message me. And this was back in the time where I was like, I'm not famous. I'm never gonna pretend to be famous. I'm gonna read and reply to all my DMs. And I guess that's nice. It was a bit cocky and a bit, you know, weird of me to say that because some people can't respond to their DMs. I can't respond to my DMs right now because I have too many, so. Whoopsies. If someone sent me a DM, I would respond. I wouldn't necessarily make a friendship, but I'd respond if they had a question. I wouldn't respond if they just said, hey, that's weird. Don't just do that. But this guy, his name was Javier. Uh, he must have messaged me. I'm not sure how it started. I'm not sure how it started, but it, it happened. So he sent me a few messages, introduced himself. He was Spanish. Uh, that's all I remember. <laughs> he lived in Madrid. Don't know where he lives now, but I remember one distinctive feature about him was that he had like a facial deformity. I think he might have been burnt on a side of his face or something like that, he may have like a skin condition, but it was very noticeable and it was permanent. So, you know, I would talk to him from time to time. He was friendly, he would say nice stuff about me, he'd ask me how I was doing. Um, at this point of my life, I thought it was non-binary. I wasn't, I was wrong, that's fine, but I thought it was non-binary. So he would ask me questions about being non-binary and how my transition was going. It wasn't going, I was 15, I, I was I was stuck. But yeah, he'd check in on me, ask me how I was doing, you know, all the usual stuff. And of course I knew he was an adult. He looked like an adult, I'm pretty sure he's about 40, maybe a bit older, maybe slightly younger, I don't know, but he's he's around that range. Now, me being me, I, I was naive. I didn't realize that this guy was an actual nonce. I just thought he was being nice because I have a lot of people that are in their 40s, 50s, older, that message me now and they're not messaging me for a weird reason. They're just being nice and supportive. I have a lot of like older people that like follow me and subscribe to me and they're really nice. They're like, they're like, you remind me of my grandson. That's really nice. I like that. But I thought this guy was just being nice. I thought it was just being a nice guy. I thought he just liked my personality and he, he wanted to be nice. And I didn't realize he wasn't just being nice until he started, you know, commenting and sending me weird things. Now he never sent me a dick pic. He never asked me to have sex with him. He never asked me about my sex life. I don't think, actually he might have done. I didn't have a sex life at 15, so that conversation wouldn't have gone anywhere. But at some point in this, not even relationship, just this conversation, he would comment on my pictures like, ooh, you look fit, because that's how I used to talk. I used to be like, oh, that guy's fit. That guy is fit. You look fit. Fit is in attractive, as in good looking, as in hot, not as in physically fit. But he picked up on my language and he would start, you know, commenting on my pictures like, you're fit. 
And at first I was like, that's weird. And then I was like, oh, wait, may maybe it's not that weird. Maybe he just kind of wants to be my friend because my other friends would comment that on my stories, not stories, <laughs> uh, on my posts and on my YouTube videos. They'd be like, no, you look fit. No, you look good. I'd be like, thanks. I feel ugly, but I appreciate you being nice. So maybe, maybe it might have been a bit of that. Maybe that's what I thought. I was wrong. He would comment stuff like that. He would say I was hot. He would say I was good looking. Um, I was a bit of an idiot when I was 15. I would post things on my main that I shouldn't have posted and they were inappropriate. They weren't like, oh, here, here are my full nipples. They were more just like, I would post a picture of a hot guy and I'd be like, me, 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 me. Francesco me. And of course that would bait in some people that were attracted to guys as well and maybe they would be older and that was a silly thing to do. I regret doing that and I won't do it again and well, I might. But I am 20 now, so I can do what I want. And I'm not at all saying this is my fault that a pedophile, you know, was into me. That's not anybody's fault. It's a pedophile's fault for having those issues and they shouldn't be they shouldn't be put onto someone else. But I did post stuff like that. So obviously if I post that stuff, he would comment, oh yeah, that guy's hot. I distinctly remember um, one picture I posted. I used to play rugby and uh, I got trampled on a lot because you know, you'd tackle someone and maybe someone runs over you. I would end up with loads of stud marks and cuts on my legs from rugby and I would post pictures of them. I'd be like, oh look, this looks nasty. To be honest, I thought it looked cool. I was like, yeah, I'm a big man. I play rugby. Yeah, people step on me. I don't cry about it. I just think they remember on that picture I posted on Instagram, he was like, ooh, sexy legs. And I was like, hmm. Right. I've got to be honest, I think that was the moment where I started being like, oh, maybe this guy's kind of weird. And I considered what was happening. I was 15. He was a grown-ass man. I knew he was gay. I knew he was into dudes. I looked like a dude. I may have said I was non-binary, but I remember him... I don't know how I remember it, but he thought of me as a dude. Um, Piece these things together, and then I was kind of like, oh. So I stopped replying to his messages, and I felt really bad about it. I felt really bad about it. Because I knew this guy was like, even if he wasn't into me sexually, which I think he was, he was still, you know, into having a friendship with me, and I felt bad about rejecting that because I feel bad about stuff like that. Oh, and I remember one time, I, I wasn't going to mention this because I've got, I remember it just now, um, I used to have this thing with a clothing company. If somebody used my code to buy something from them, I would get like $4 from each purchase. So I remember talking to him about it. And then one day he sent me a screenshot of lots of things he was buying. He was like, I bought these for you so you can get money. And I was like, oh, wow. Wow. Ouch. And now, of course, I realize that's manipulative. And I, you know, I didn't mention this at all. I was not into him in the slightest. I was just being polite. But yeah, it was it was weird because he would do stuff like that and then I could tell, you know, I felt bad for him. So yeah, back onto where I was. Um, I stopped talking to him and obviously he noticed it because I wouldn't reply, I'd just read his messages and not reply. So he would ask me what was happening and I'd still ignore him. Um, <laughs> and then I'm not sure what he said or what he commented, but he said something really weird. I, I would tell you if I remembered, honestly. But I was like, that's enough. I was like, you're a pedophile. And he was like, what? No, Noah, I'm so sorry. No, Noah, I'm not a pedophile. And I'd felt really bad, of course. But I just accused this man of being a pedophile and it wasn't a pedophile. Until I realised he was talking to other people I knew. It was weird. They were also underage. And he was telling them weird things. Here's a video from my friend Adrian, who used to talk casually to him. Javier and I used to talk, like, about, I think, two, three years ago now. Basically, I, I didn't have Netflix at the time and I wanted to watch Orange is the New Black. So I put on my, on my Instagram story, I was like, oh, does anyone have, like, you know, a Netflix account that I could use to watch? And, you know, he, he popped up and he was like, yeah, you know, have it for life. And I was like, oh, thanks, you know, lovely. He gave me his account and his password and his username and everything like that. So I had his, his uh, Netflix for a while and, you know, he'd message me every now and then. But, like, you know, at the time, like, I was, what, I think 13, 14. And, like, I wouldn't really realise that that's, like, a, you know, like, a, a bit of a weird thing because he was, like, 40. He just messed me, like, weird things. Like, I I have some screenshots and it's kind of, like, how big his, like, penis was and things like that and it's just like it's not something you talk about with like a 13 year old he'd ask like weird questions about like being trans and stuff and i was like i mean at the time like, i really didn't think it was weird like it was just like like you know guys trying to find out information but like now it's like i'm looking back on it it is a bit it is a bit off like it's a bit weird um and the fact that he got Noah's face or like whatever tattooed on his like leg, I don't know, like it's creepy mate, like it's really creepy. At the time I thought he was just like nice, he just like messaging me like, oh you know, like how are you, this and that. He'd send me photos of like his pills and stuff and he's like, this is my breakfast for today and I'm like, okay, lovely, nice to know. Now looking back on it, it was just, it's a bit weird. 
a bit creepy, I won't lie to you. So, you realise this video is about the tattoo that he had and I hadn't mentioned that until Adrian said it. I didn't forget to mention it. So how did that happen? So, obviously, I stopped talking to him, I was kind of ignoring him, I called him a paedophile, and then for some reason I was in a nice mood and he just happened to message me at that time. I... <laughs> Right, so he asked for this one particular picture of me because he thought he looked really cool and he really liked it. So I was like, okay, I'll send you that picture. Why not? What harm is it going to do? This guy's just asking for a picture. He's not being creepy for once. I sent him the picture and then maybe a day, a few days later, he sent me back this. He had got me tattooed onto his leg, on his skin. It's a real tattoo on his leg. Why would you do that? I was so baffled, I didn't know what to do. I sent it to my group chat. I was like, what the hell is going on? It's so weird, so, so weird, very weird. And I'm pretty sure I haven't spoken to him since. I don't know if I have. I, 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 might, have, I might have replied to a few of his comments or whatever, but I blocked him on everything. And you know, I found out he was talking to a few of my friends. Every time I found out he was talking to my friends, I'll DM him being like, oi, dickhead, stop talking to my friends, you nonce. And he was like, oh no, I'm so sorry, so sorry, no, so sorry. And this would repeat over and over again. So if I find out he's talking to another one of my friends, he's getting a message. But other than that, that's, uh, that's the story. I hope you enjoyed it. It's weird. It's a weird one. I have lots of weird stories. So yeah, <laughs> that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day or don't. See you later, losers.